What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive 4v4 S&D gameplay. This is back when Alex and AVHE were still on the team. It was from a tournament. Um, I've brought a gameplay similar to this before. I hadn't realized that I hadn't used this gameplay, though, so I decided to go ahead and bring it. Um, it's not going to be the whole thing, because it was kind of long, so I'm just going to bring you up to a certain point. Um, hope you guys enjoy that in the background. But today's topic is going to be about how to necessarily like the the things you need to do right before you go to a LAN event and what to do once you're there to help you succeed the most because you know th this isn't supposed to be something where I'm telling you how to prepare you know several months in advance and everything I can do another video on that the kind of things you need to practice and whatnot but this is gonna focus on a couple days before the LAN and at the LAN and to give my qualifications here basically I was going to be going to a LAN a little while ago as most of you know it got the date got pushed back, which was rather unprofessional, but we are no longer able to go. But these were all things that we had planned out and that I was planning on doing myself. So it's it's definitely good. So here we go. Starting off, the first thing is to make sure you get enough sleep. This includes the days leading up to the LAN and once you're at the LAN. If it's a multiple day LAN event, do not party the first night that you're there. I know you may want to celebrate that, hey, made it past the first day. Don't do it yet. You need to stay focused and you need to get enough sleep because if you do not get enough sleep, especially if you're jet lagged, if you had to travel a ways to do it, it's going to mess with you so much. I've traveled enough to know that the jet lag can be killer even if it's only a few hours and if you're European coming over for an American thing for some reason, that is going to absolutely kill you. So just make sure you get enough sleep. Next thing is... Bring some music, and I, most people have an iPhone or an iPod or something, um, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just listen to some music before your matches to help you stay focused, stay calm, stay relaxed. Just do what you normally would do. Next thing is ride the hype. Now, this is probably the most important thing to do at a LAN event. If you don't ride the hype, you are going to lose. If you guys watched COD Champs, you saw Scumpy get absolutely pumped when he would do really well. That's the kind of thing you gotta do. You gotta be screaming at these land events. You better have lost your voice by the end of it. That's how hyped you have to get. And because when you ride the hype like that, it just helps you so much and it helps your team. You can't let any little thing get you down. If you if you get team killed, don't let it get you down. Don't um you know hold a grudge against your teammates for that or anything. You just gotta stay focused and ride the hype. Next thing is stay hydrated. Um that's very important. But don't overdose on Red Bull and other energy drink things because those can be rather bad for you. They can give you a crash depending on what you get. Uh, make sure you know what's in the drinks that you're drinking beforehand and make sure that most of what you're drinking is water because that's, that's what you need to be doing. Next thing is uh, check your equipment a few days before you leave for the event in case something is wrong. And honestly, you should check it periodically leading up to this LAN event that you're planning on going to just to make sure there's no malfunctions or th replacement parts you need to order because you don't want to show up and not be able to play. Next thing is don't DQ people for little things. It'll make you look like trash and it's just going to put your organization or your team down. You know, just give the other people a chance. If they got the rules wrong, if somebody didn't get in in time, just restart the map real quick. It's no big deal. I know there's been several pro teams who've had the chance to disqualify somebody on a map. They don't do it. They just replay the map so be courteous also trash talk all you want while you're playing because that's gonna be part of riding the hype but afterwards be respectful go up shake their hands say good game all of that fun stuff also don't be afraid to change your classes in between rounds or matches obviously you know you might have very map specific classes by the time you get to a LAN event so be willing to change those don't be afraid about taking a little extra time to do that and also, you know, it's good because then teams that are watching you, you have different strategies, different guns, so they won't be able to predict you as well. Also, watch other matches while you're not playing. Watch the other people playing. Learn your opponent's strategies. Learn what they want to do. Next thing is, like I said, don't yell or hold a grudge against a teammate for something while at a LAN event. Um, you know, you can't, like, even if you've got the most personal issue with this guy and you absolutely hate his guts now... You got to stick it out through that LAN event. You got to stay focused. Just ignore it until afterwards. Put it aside. Come to a mutual tr 
truce, I guess, if you're, like, battling with them or something. Next thing is, try to eat decent food, because you don't want your stomach to be upset while you're playing. Um, this means don't be eating candy all day. Like, I know some of us younger people, that's what we want to do. You need to eat somewhat healthy here. Like, I understand that there's a time crunch and everything, but you need to try and just eat some decent food, even if it's, you know, pizza. I mean, at least just don't get anything that's going to make your stomach upset or ju don't just like skip meals because you have to have food. You have to be able to stay focused and everything for this event. Next thing is remember that these land events can be very, very grueling. Um, you've got to make sure that you can stay focused throughout the entire thing and just you know you got to be able to put matches behind you you got to be able to just put one foot in front of the other remember after the LAN event you can have a couple days to rest up I know it's tiring because you know you see some of these pro teams after they're done they are absolutely exhausted so you got to be prepared for that um, and next thing and one of the last things is making sure that you warm up properly beforehand make sure you show up ahead of time they'll always have warm-up sessions you got to get used to the land setting, especially if it's your first time. Mess around some, see wh how the guns feel on land if it's your first time, or if you already know, just get back into it, that sort of thing, because you want to be able to sure that, make sure that you can perform well once you're there. So we're pretty much running out of time here. We're getting to the point where I want to end this video. I could potentially make a second part to this if you guys want me to, so let me know. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.